Hey there, before I start the video, I've created a little Discord server where you can learn Unreal Engine, ask for help, or suggest new video ideas. Join in the link in the description. Welcome everybody, in this episode I'm going to show you how to make a 3D ammo widget. So, as you can see, we can walk around and fire. The current ammo is working. But, in this episode I'm just going to be showcasing how to actually create the ammo widget. It's expected for you to have your own ammo system working already. But, to start, let me just get rid of my current widget. Let's get rid of this. And simply, all I have is just made ammo current and ammo max. And ammo max just has 200 and ammo current has 30. And you should probably already have these and a reload system working. But I'm just simply decrementing ammo current each time I fire. And that's all I've done in the player rifle. So to start, you're going to create a new ammo widget. So that's my current one. I'm going to right click and create a new one. And let's call this game ammo widget underscore new because this is my new one let's open this up and let's just add a canvas panel drag this onto the widget compile and now what we need is text so let's get the text anchor it to the center and I'm just going to reset its transform and I'm going to just set its typeface to light so this is going to be my max ammo so we're just going to have XXX representing a three digit number I'm going to give it an outline of 2 or 1 and make it red and you can do whatever you'd like obviously so now I'm going to get a divider, just a text, but I'm going to use a slash as a divider, making sure the font is the same and make it probably like 30. Give it an outline. There we go. Just resize this a bit. So once you've done that, let's just copy and paste this and this is just going to be a two digit number as it's our current clip and I'm going to make it white so let's just center this properly probably move this up here and this here so that looks a bit better and making sure your anchors are all in the center so when we scale this up or down it's always in the center so that's what an anchor does so if I just rescale this widget you can see it's always in the center so now let's compile save and we actually need to be able to tell these placeholders to be our actual values so in the graph on event construct I'm going to just get actor of class and now if you had a proper interaction system where your player picks it up or picks up the weapon you would cast to first person character or your character and then from here you'd be able to get a reference to your gun picked up but in this case our gun is just an actor so I'm just going to get BP underscore rifle and let's just promote this to a variable and call this as rifle selected and just straighten that out using Q compile and save and now let's just make a few functions let's just call this current ammo text and call this max ammo text so let's make a function for our max ammo so let's just bind on text 
So the bind just means we're binding something to our text. And the return value is what it's going to show on that text. So we want a number to show. And the way we can do this is just, as rifle selected, get max ammo. And plug this in and it will convert. So now let's do our current ammo. Create binding. Move this back a bit. As rifle selected, get current ammo and convert this. So now compile and save. And if we go into our designer, save these two are binded now. And if I go into my BP rifle, the last thing I have to do is just add a widget and make sure it's parented to the skeletal mesh of the weapon so if the weapon moves the widget follows along with it so if you want it to be 3d you need to make sure its space is walled so it's walled space not screen space and let's just select our class game ammo widget new and let's rotate this so it faces us and I'm going to have it scale 0.15 on all axis. And let's just point fifteen. And now let's just move this here on the side of our weapon. You can put this anywhere you'd like. But I think it looks best on the right side. Move this like that. So now if we compile, save, play. There we go. It's binded to our weapon. And the reason our current ammo goes down is because the current ammo widget is linked to our gun's current ammo integer. So each time that changes, the widget also changes with it. So that's it for our weapon interact widget.